break or play. Complain, complain, and complain until we get the hood off and then you get all excited to go. So inexperienced. But that's okay. You're learning. 
Yes, you are. You're learning. What a good boy. What a good boy. Yeah. Good exercise for you. Got some good altitude. Not terribly high, but that's okay. But you did good. What a, what a good boy. First mouse. Where's your second one? There it is. Very good little guy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Got about enough there. Looks like you're slowing down. I know you think you need more, but you really don't. Uh-huh. Okay. You did good, sweetie. Good exercise. Ready? Falcon like this, the wind is really hard for him to work into. Let him get his exercise.
now feel the wind getting stronger. So we're going to have to cut his session a little bit short. Oh! Oh! Here he comes after the pigeon. Second pigeon. Oh! Okay, both pigeons are going to outfly him, and then we'll bring him back down to his toy. Yeah, it's been a little windy today. I knew we were basically a race trying to get these birds worked before the wind got too bad. The wind's supposed to hit uh, an excess of uh, gusts of excess of 40 miles an hour in the next uh, uh, couple of hours. Right now, it's blowing about 15, and that's uh, really about his that's about his uh, limit at this moment. But he got some exercise, got to fly in the wind. Good boy. Yeah, you would like the rest of the mouse more than the guts, huh? coming along nicely you know prairie falcons uh, they're noisy they're temperamental they're difficult to work with but uh, they are sure fun when you can get out there and, and fly them and enjoy what they what they can do and so we just have a little bit of fun with Piper yeah. there's another one for you let's turn you around shall we so you're facing the right direction. There's my baby. And that really is part of the key of when you're working with guys, know their limits, know what their strengths are. Um, you know, when you're, especially when you're flying the Falcons, wind is really, really critical to understand what, what they can and cannot handle. The last thing you want is, um, you know, with a little guy like this, a 20 mile an hour wind, and the, the Falcon can't make it back upwind and ends up going over the mountains uh, to the north, and, and you, you spend the next day or two uh, trying to track the bird down because it got lost and it and the only reason it got lost was not because it was flying away from you It got lost because it just couldn't it couldn't handle the high winds couldn't make it back and uh, then That becomes the falconer's fault certainly of course everything's the falconer's fault You know I tell people that uh, you know whatever the bird does is right It's, it's the falconer's responsibility to, to adapt Not Piper even little monster prairie falcons. Yes. You are so cute. Yes, you are. You can just feel that wind building. We we timed it just right. We got it got him back on the ground at just the right moment. Just the right moment, huh, Piper? 
We did. It was just the right moment. It's all gone. I know you want more, but it's all gone. You've eaten it all. my piper. Look at all that. You've got a big breakfast. You should be complaining. Martin Tyner is a federally licensed falconer, eagle falconer, wildlife rehabilitator, propagator, and educator. Martin was the first person in North America licensed to train a wild golden eagle in the ancient art of falconry. Most of his birds perform double duty as falconry birds and educational birds. With the bird on his arm, Martin has been providing wildlife and environmental programs throughout the western United States to schools, scouts, and community groups for over 50 years. If you would like to learn more about Martin, his birds, and his foundation, please visit GoWildlife.org or MartinTyner.com. So, here's your rouse. Here's my little boy. doing good. Good stoop. Look at that. Beautiful white. The whole thing. Hmm? He moved so fast I missed it. Okay. Good altitude, good flight. Let him go back up again and see if we can throw him another pigeon. Much easier for him without all the wind, huh?
He lightly tagged it. Oh, she's got it. Okay. Well, he had a good flight today. Now the next thing I have to do is let him settle down because his uh, adrenaline's going really, really hard and we don't want him uh, getting upset with me because we're going to uh, come in and we're going to make a trade for his pigeon. He's happy. He's having his meal. He hit the pigeon on the on the that pigeon on, on the stoop. Um, kind of disoriented and then went in and, and finished it off. So that was actually a pretty good flight, all things considered. Yes, yeah, that was a pretty good flight, little one. Much easier for him without all the wind blowing. Yeah, yeah, the wind makes it really hard, especially on these little male falcons. Wind's pretty hard on them. Yes, it is. That was a pretty good little flight. There you go. You don't want that? I thought so. There you go. There's more. Very nice. Nice little show today for the little falcon. He got about 250 feet in elevation. And the first uh, dive was nice and vertical. Looked really good. Missed the first pigeon. And then we threw him a second one. And he wasn't quite as high, and the stoop wasn't quite as vertical, but it was still good. And uh, he tagged that the pigeon probably in the head, because the pigeon went to the ground pretty hard. And then he turned around and came back and finished it off. And that's that's exactly what what these falcons do. They want to, they they don't have the strength. They have these uh, it's a little hard to see, but they have these long skinny toes, and they don't have the physical strength that uh, that a, a hawk has. And so, because of that, they like to disable their quarry first before they uh, before they go to ground and, and do battle with it. And the pigeon that she's caught was actually bigger than her. Or 
are bigger than him. It's this Piper's a male. What a good boy. You having a good breakfast? breakfast little one little piper let's get your hood on you oh god yeah it's all gone you finished it see nothing there you finished yes i know you complain a lot you're a complainer there's my boy I know you want something else to kill. There you go. And this is where his transmitter is. We've got a little a little plate on his tail. A little plate on his tail that allows us to hook hook the transmitter to his tail and it just slides right off. And so it stays out of his way. Where shall we head back, kiddo?